Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just sitting by the River Ribble in the village of Sawley in Lancashire. It's a really beautiful place down here in the, Rib in the Ribble Valley. Nice bridge up there. The reason we've come though to this village of Sawley is because there is a ruined abbey here. So we're going to go and have a look around the ruins of Sawley Abbey. So we just come up to here. We've got a pub here. Um, we're about, well, we're four miles north of Cliverow, the Lancashire town, um, which has a quite a nice castle um, which you can go and visit so we've we've just driven up here today and um, here is the sign so Abbey 400 yards so we're gonna walk in in this direction we're gonna go and find the Abbey that looks like a nice pub there to spread evil in um, as we go along here the Abbey shall very soon reveal itself so the Abbey we're going to look at today Sawley Abbey it's a Cistercian Abbey um, so it was the order of the Cistercian monks. It was founded um, by William de Lacy in 1147. It lasted about 400 years, so it had, you know, a good long life until the dissolution. The, ab the monks even um, rebelled and came back after they'd been kicked out. So they didn't leave without a fight. Interestingly, it's a rather interesting arch there. Now, I'm not sure if that is once the entrance to the abbey but the abbey itself is just here on the other side of this field so we'll go along and um, we're going to go and have a look around the ruins of the abbey it's not a huge abbey like some of the ones we've been to the last abbey I did a Henry's Adventures video at was um, Croxton Abbey in Staffordshire and that was quite unusual because the road went right through the middle of the church have a look on screen now you can see that video um, so that was quite a bit different so that's why I enjoy going to ruined abbeys so much because they're all so different. You know, you never get two the same. So here we go. Here's the entrance here. It is free to visit. So um, at night these gates are locked up. But any other time you can just come and here we are. Here is the abbey. So we're going to have a wander round. Um, that would have been the church. I'll show you the church last. Um, I like to sort of build up to the church. That's the cloisters over there. We shall walk through that in a minute. I want to start by showing you this stack of ruins here. I think this is quite an interesting section of ruins. So you come down here and it's a bit of a surprise but there's a huge fireplace here. So whether this was where um, they did the cooking, whether this was the kitchen, I'm not entirely sure. If you come into here, there's a window through there and you have a look up there. Quite a big chimney. So, let's go through this little doorway here. And there's the abbey in front of us. Go through. Well, when I visit these abbeys, I do try and walk through. It's not always possible, but I try and walk through where an actual doorway would have been, rather than, you know, just walking through walls. And I like to try and picture the abbey as it would have been. So, if you imagine now, we've been walking along the edge of the cloisters. The cloisters would have been there, the monks would have strolled around there, with the church towering above them. And here we have all the, you know, the smaller buildings, things like the refectory. The dormitory would have been over there. We'll come on to that in a minute. So we go around here. The chapter house would have also been one of the buildings off the cloisters. Here, this would have been the refectory. So the monks would have all sat around there eating their meals. Now there's one bit around here. I find particularly fascinating. You sometimes, well, you nearly always get these at abbeys. Sometimes they're more visible than others. I shall take you around. So let's go around this, these ruins here. See this? You can see there. I think that's quite an exciting part of the ruins of the abbey. I'll let you look at the whole site of the abbey behind us. So here. You can see these slabs. These slabs are covering a drain. So the drain runs right under there. Some some of the abbeys you can actually walk right through them and you actually can here. So see this archway? It's time to really get down and explore. Um, so I'm just gonna sit down here, just excuse me a minute while I'll climb in. So here we are, we are now in the drain, and then I can stand up. It's a bit easier now to walk in. So this section of the drain, you can actually walk in, which I think is really quite fun. And these flowers are nice, I really like them. So let's walk through the drain. 
so any waste from the toilets and any other waste were all washed away down there and probably ended up in the River Ribble. So it wouldn't have once been somewhere where, you know, you'd have walked through for fun, put it that way. Let's go through this and out. It's a bit easier to get out of that end. So we have just walked through the drain of the Abbey. So you can see where we've just been. Now let's go and explore towards the church. So the tallest ruins over there is what remains of the church and that's quite often but not always the case that the church has the um, tallest standing ruins usually because the church was the strongest part of any abbey built but then there are some abbeys where there's nothing left of the church and all the outbuildings survive um, so an abbey like say Cleve Abbey and some of it that immediately springs to mind where there's nothing of the church but quite a lot of the outbuildings all these buildings are pretty much standing you know to full height so we come to here this would have been a gateway into the south transit we're going to go into here and um, i think i wanted to show you i mentioned the dormitory well one quite impressive survivor is this here this is the stairs up to the dormitory so um let's go have a look there and from up here it gives us a view over the rest of the abbey. I don't like to, um, you get some, sometimes you come to these abbeys, you'll see people climbing up there. I don't approve of this, but when it's an actual set of steps that, you know, was built to be climbed up, um, then to me, I don't see a problem with doing that. So we've got a lovely view now, the cloisters, the refectory over there, and the rest of the ruined abbey, and here yeah, is the church. So as I said, this is the south transit, that's the north transit. Now, there's one really unusual thing about the church here, the church itself is really quite small compared to the chancel. So if we have a look here, this area here is the nave of the church. So yes, it's one of the biggest surviving parts of the abbey, but you can, it's a really quite a small nave of a church for what it was a rather large chancel just ahead. So let's go now through into the chancel. You can see the chancel is quite a lot bigger so imagine this would have been huge big gothic arches above me must have been a really impressive sight in here when, when it before it was ruined you can see where there have been columns and everything so we're now walking in the chancel of the abbey now just surrounded by cows and sheep it's a very nice very nice peaceful little village so you know perfect place abbeys often and were you know sometimes was so, more friaries tended to be in in town centres and city centres, but this is a very nice, quiet, peaceful location. Often, when you think of some of the other bigger Cistercian abbeys like Tinton, you know, Tinton's in a similar location. It's in a a, um, a river valley, the Wye Valley in Wales. This one's here in the Ribble Valley. So I'm now in the North Transit. There's a couple of little chapels there. Oh, this one's interesting. Look, it's actually got some tiles still surviving so uh, we'll go out this door here um, and uh, I just want to show you a couple more things I quite like it here they've got a collection of bits that have come off the abbey over the years they're all there on stone shelves so you can if you come to the abbey and want to have a closer look at them you know why not do that what I'm going to do now because it's my favourite part of this abbey I'm going to do, just do what I said I don't do, I'm just, going to, I'm just walking through the wall now, come to this area here, we have the church in front of us again, and um, what I was thinking was we'll go back into the church, soon as it is the most important bit of the abbey, so we're walking down that very short nave, it must have been an amazing sight though, down this short nave, with this huge chancel in front of us, it must have, um, you know, just been a really impressive sight, so I think what I'll do, I shall leave the video here from the crossing in the middle of Sawley Abbey. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm now going to go up there to Pemble Hill. I'm not going to make a video because it's a bit windy down here. It's bringing me really windy up there, but I'm going to go up there and have a walk. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment from Sawley Abbey. Goodbye.